Hey everyone, it's Sarah. This is floss tube number six. Um, today's date is December 5th, 2018. I am trying something different today. I have flipped my camera around on my phone and I'm in selfie mode. Um, I don't know. I wasn't super happy with this the last time I tried. I didn't like where I was looking, but we'll try it again. I don't have a whole lot of time to film today. I just got a call from my husband that he is on his way home from work. So, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to try to, to go through the stuff real fast that I have for you. Um, first of all, um, I have a finish. Uh, it's not big. Um, I showed last week I was in progress on it. It is Heartfelt Harvey. Sorry, I have to find him. Heartfelt Harvey. Um, from, this is the Christmas Ornaments Just Crossed This Issue 2008. And um, so yeah, this is... This is what I finished. I had mentioned last week I flipped him, or, or not flipped him, but I switched it. I had some red cloth, um, so I flipped it and did white thread on red. So here is the finish. Um, you can see he's, he's pretty cute. I like him. One of these days I'll get something to put up behind these things. So that's a finish. Um... I'll get it fully finished at some point. I'm not in a rush to do it. They're not going up anywhere this Christmas. So I'm just working on stitching. Well, it's Christmas. Getting some Christmas stuff stitched. Um, and like I said, I'm going to probably continue that into the new year. Just try to, to work my way through some of these little small pieces of remnants that I have. Um, and all of the different little Christmas patterns I have in various formats. So that's that. Um, also from the same... These are... Let's work on my whips now. Um... From the same magazine, um, let's see, this is a Country Cottage Needleworks, um, it is right there, the Let It Snow, I think he's cute, I've had so many issues with this, I don't know what's going on, um, but this is what I have so far. I totally miscounted the tree. I started it too low, like one scallop too low. It's not even like I had to count a whole lot of scallops. I just did something weird. Oops. Um, so I don't know. I'm going ahead and go, going ahead and stitch this middle one, see if I can do it. If not, I can go ahead and just frog the top and bottom and redo the border. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not super excited about it, but it, it went together real quick. The border did, so it's not really... Um, that might be the best thing so I can do it as charted um, because I don't like that much space in between. I'd either have to fill that all in with white or, and add some snowflakes up here just to, to make it. I got my first snowflake done. Just wanted to see how that looked. And I messed up on that too. I don't know. This has just been one of those projects. But yeah, um, I should have him finished hopefully. <laughs> hopefully by the next time I film um, if he doesn't cause me too many other problems. Um, and then my other whip, that's a new start, so then I have my one whip. Um, this is the one I was working on for Nano Stitch Mo, um, Artisy King of the Jungle. Oh, this is one of the things I don't like about the selfie mode, too, is that everything's backwards. So I'm going to do this one this way, but I'll probably switch back to, to going the other way. I do like that I can see how things are on the on the screen though we'll see i don't know um so anyway artisy king of the jungle um i think the last time i showed it oh got all kinds of all okay, kind of parking on this one so i've got all kinds of threads going on but last time i showed just this was finished so i've done just a little bit more up here at the top um again doesn't really look like a lion yet um I'm putting this away for a little bit. Uh, November's over. I worked on it pretty hard. I got about, uh, my goal was 50 blocks. I got about 44 done. Didn't quite make my goal, but I'm still really happy with my progress. So, yeah, um, it's it's going away. Um, it'll probably come out before the end of December again, but I just needed a little bit of a break on it from it before, so I could um, work on some Christmas stuff and just do some some other, other things. Sorry, I'm trying to sort my stuff out. Um haul oops i need need to figure out what i did with that um from the same 
magazine again. I am planning on stitching this um, Dragon Dreams. Let me see what the name of it is. Um, Christmas morning. So it's Santa and he's Christmas morning all exhausted and he's got his little baby dragon with him. Um, so let's see if I can, oops, put it in just a little bit closer. There we go. Um, so I got the flosses for that. Um, sorry, there's going to be some rattling of baggies. Um, so yeah, I've got another handful of flosses. Um, also, I think there's some flosses in here for another secret project, but those are mostly for that. I had a few, but I didn't have all of them, so I went ahead and bought the ones I needed. I am once again being attacked by a cat because of crinkling bags. Um, and the other thing, when I was there buying the flosses, I decided to look at the, oops, sorry, shake, shaking the camera. Um, I decided to look at the fabric remnants just to see if they had any things that I would be able to use for finishing. And I found this. I really like this. They're both plaids and this one. Um, and they were like two bucks a piece. One was a little less, one was a little more. But yeah, I um I think they'll be really nice, especially for finishing some of these Christmas ornaments with. Um, they had two more similar ones. I just stuck with two. There's a lot of fabric in here. So um, we'll see. Um, but it's something I'm going to start doing is looking at their remnant section. Um, I have some. I quilt a little bit, so I have some. But I don't have a lot of like small patterns and stuff so um yeah i got that and then that's really all the haul oh no wait 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 that is wrong um i was actually going to shoot this video yesterday and um i found out when i woke up i found out that a dear friend of mine had passed away um and i just was not in any any um i didn't have the ability um and i'm gonna see if i can get through this without tearing up too bad but um one of the things that she really loved was sunflowers, and I had, I mean, just always, always meant to stitch her something with sunflowers on it, and it's one of those things you just, I never got around to it, and um, so I, I decided yesterday I wanted to kind of stitch something in her memory, and um, started looking for things with sunflowers. I searched, I mean, I searched everywhere. I was searching Etsy. I was searching um one two three stitch like i said i don't really have a local needle workshop you can probably hear the cats making all kinds of noise um the little kitten really likes to take the um tails of the bigger kittens and or bigger cats and use them as play toys and they don't really like that a whole lot so um that's probably what was happening right there and then um it's a game they play i'm not a big fan um but anyway um so i finally found on heaven and earth designs um it's called Mini Summer, um, and it is a picture of a dragon resting on some sunflowers. Um, and this friend, um, I'd known her for years. Actually, she was the mother of one of my, my younger brother's good friends, and we later became friends as, as an adult, but I was quite a bit older than my, my, um, than my brothers. Um, so, so, um, Saturday, no, Friday nights, we used to go over to her house and play Dungeons and Dragons, and that's when we really started becoming friends. Um, we played WoW together. We, um, whenever we would come into town, we used to stay at their house, um, because they had, they had more space for us than other people did. So, um, so yeah, I mean, they're family. It's not, it's not even losing a friend. It's losing a member of the family. And, um, you know, our, our families have been close for forever. Uh, my parents moved to their current house. Um, oh, gosh, in like 1990? Yeah, because it was the year my, my, my sister was born. So they moved to that house in 1990, and we moved in next to um, next to that family, um, next to her dad, actually, my friend that just passed. And um, And so, yeah, so that's almost 30 years of history together. Um, so it's it's rough but yeah i'm 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 looking forward to stitching this i think it is gorgeous and um it'll help me you know i'll get to think of all the good memories when when i stitch and i'll after it's done i'll get to put it on my wall and think of her every time i look at it so yeah that's that's my haul um like i said not a much and i usually wouldn't have patterns and i still have patterns on layaway but i just and i probably could have gotten them this time but i just i'm 
not in any hurry to stitch those. So I'm just kind of paying a little bit um, each month until, because um, I did a six month so I can, I mean, it's only like $30 worth of stuff that I had on layaway. So I can just do $5 a month. I won't miss that money at all. But this, this was important enough for me to go ahead and buy now so that I can get started on it. I think I'm going to go this afternoon and, um, and get the fabric for it. Um, and, and the first few flosses that I need to get it started. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my haul. And then, um, I have a question. Does this happen to anybody else? I was going through, I've been going through some of my cross stitch stuff. You know, I hadn't been cross stitching in a while, for a while, and been kind of, my goodness, I am sorry about the cats, guys. Kitty cats, stop. My goodness. Um, I, I know they're playing, but man, it drives me nuts when they do that. Um, going through my cross stitch stuff, and I came across a bag from Joanne. I have no idea when this is from, and it is just full of floss. I'm sure it's floss I bought for a pattern for a project somewhere along the line. Um, I mean, just a heap, a heap of floss. I have no idea what I bought it for. So um, I've got this bag of mystery floss that I probably bought before I stopped cross stitching and um, it was just sitting there this whole time in a bag. So I got to figure that out, see if I, I have a pattern that those colors match. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's what I did. It could have been for a bunch of different projects. My guess is it's a Christmas project because that's usually what I tend to like to do the most. So, um, and I have a lot of Christmas patterns, so I may never find it. But if I go to stitch that pattern again, I can look and I'll have the flosses. So that's, that's something. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really all I have. That's, um, as far as like cross stitchy stuff, um, I do want to, um, I'm going to do a shout out to, um, Sarah King this week. Um, She's also a new floss tuber, and um, she, she's she been doing, I think she's doing Flossmas right now. I'm not going to do Flossmas. I cannot commit to a video a day, but um, she's fairly new to YouTube as well, and she has two daughters that also stitch that um, are younger and um, come on her channel occasionally. Um, she's done some Stitchy Box unboxing, so if you're interested in that, you can go look at those. Um, I've watched them. I'm probably um, not going to get a subscription to that. Like I said, I'm really trying to use what I have without going and buying a whole lot of new stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, but I like watching the unboxings. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I guess it's vicariously living through someone else. But, um, yeah. Uh, check out her channel if you haven't. Um, she's got some, some, um, pretty good content over there. Um, her name is Sarah King. I think her YouTube channel is just Sarah King. Um, so that's, the cat's found the bag of floss and now one's in it. So I'm going to pick that up. Um, and then my game. I did not forget my game. Um, today's game is called Onitama. It is a beautiful game. Um, it is a chess variant. It's for two players. It plays easier than chess. Um, but, and it also comes with this. This is one of the things I love about it. Um, Oh my gosh, the cat's banging up against the table. Sorry about that. Um, it is. It comes with this neoprene, so it's like a mouse pad uh, mat. So this is, you've got the red side and the blue side, and then you have your monks that you put on them. I'll show you the red ones. Sorry, this gets a little unwieldy. Um, so you have four of these little guys Let's see and then one that is your master and the goal of the game is that you want to either capture the other team's master or if you see on the mat there's thrones this space right here is the throne space if you get your master from your throne space to their throne space, then that's the other way you can win. Um, and the way that you move are by, there's these cards, they all have like an animal theme. Um, and it shows you, so the black space is where you are, and you can move, so if you were facing, this is the way it would go. You can move to any of the, the spaces that are um, highlighted in, either they're either going to be... Um, 
It doesn't matter the color. It just shows you if they're highlighted in a different color. Um, that's just where you can move to. So sometimes you can move backwards. Um, you can move diagonally. There's sun in here like the dragon has some really cool moves. So you can move pretty far with him compared to the ones I've shown you. Um, and um, the kind of the trick is, is there's a card that's in the middle that's not being used by either player. When you play one of your pieces with one of these cards, you will then exchange this card for the card in the center. And then therefore, next turn, your opponent's going to get this card. So you're not only thinking about how you're going to move, but making sure you're not giving your opponent a card that's going to win them the game. Um, so there's there's a little bit of thinky to it. I really like it. And it has... <laughs> so I'll show you. This is the original box. Oops, that's the back. Um, this is really easy. I mean, it's a really good game to play with younger younger people too because it's really the moves are all just on cards but there's the original box and then there's the expansion box so it has like the cutest it opens the same way it's got this magnetic closure um and then this is just haven't even opened it yet um but it's just another another set of cards to go with it it's definitely over packaged but it's super cute <laughs> um so that's onitama um it's i don't think it's a super expensive game i want to say it's like 20 25 dollars um, retail, um, but yeah, it's real, it's real easy to learn, real easy to sit down, it takes, it says on the box that it takes 15 minutes, that's probably, probably really good, um, um, some games can take a little longer, some games can take a little less, it just depends on, 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 um, on how the game goes, um, if you're playing with me, I tend to make mistakes, so it might go faster, um, but yeah, that's only Tama, uh, that's, that's my game of the week. I will make sure to link all of the things that I can link down below, um, including the game, including Sarah's YouTube channel, um, and then the, the two patterns, the two um, online patterns that I have. Um, and like I said, the other stuff was all from cats. Um, all, the other stuff was all from the um, that Christmas cross stitch ornaments, um, 2008, I believe. Um, so. Um, that's just, just cross stitch. Um, and that's the only way you're going to be able to find that is if you either get it digitally or if you buy it used. So I'm not going to link that, but yeah, the other stuff I will link anyhow. Um, I will see you again in a weekish and, um, have a great day and it's Christmas time. So I'm excited about that. Um, have a great, have a great day.